actually, instead of doing the touch off, I'm actually going to do home the z-axis to the new location that it's about to go to here. Okay, so now I'm going to home that. And let's see what's up. Let's see what happens now. Oh no! to take a break and explain user-defined M codes. Um, it's not too too difficult, and the documentation is pretty good. But it wasn't completely in completely intuitive, and it was a little bit intimidating, actually. Um, so I thought I would, yeah, just go through. Um, so I guess the first place to start might be, besides this video, if you're not familiar, would be to go to the documentation. And so essentially. In the Linux CNC docs, if you go to the M codes portion, you scroll all the way down, it's like the last thing they talk about, so section 23, um, you have M100 through M199, so you essentially have 99 codes that you can define. Um, and an M code essentially, I think it stands for machine code, um, but it, it essentially allows you to run your own custom scripts or your own custom G code. Um, something that's custom to your particular machine um, and it's a little bit tricky so let's just go oh yeah one thing one thing I wanted to note. so in the examples they show a lot of bash scripts it doesn't have to be a bash script um, or a shell script necessarily it's just any sort of script that you can make executable so it could be PHP Python um, or uh, there's various others um, so I'm gonna show you how I made a Python script executable. And I'm gonna pause and then we're gonna to go to the file browser so I can show you exactly how these things need to be set up. Uh, this part is actually tricky and you get some feedback if you don't set it up right, which is good, but I'll show you how to do that. So, I am in my file browser here and you essentially wanna to go to your Linux CNC folder and then you have your configs and your NC files. So, first off, you want to create your M code script inside of your NC files folder. Um, and this, I guess this is specific to if you're using Axis as your GUI too. Um, I think that maybe other GUIs might be different. Um, but it says in the documentation wherever the INI um, file is pointing to, I believe. Um, so for me, it's NC files and this is just sort of the default. I didn't really change much of that. so. I would imagine for you it'd be the same. Another sort of another gotcha is that you don't need to have an extension on the name. So see how I just have this one? It's just named M101. No extension. Uh, that's the first trick. Uh, the second one is that you want to make this executable. So you want to essentially do go to your terminal, cd into this directory, and then do. Uh, change mode which is chmod and then you want a space and then you want to do plus x and then you want to do another space and then your file m101 um, and then I'll essentially change the executable change it to an executable file change the executable bit um, and I'll add a video that shows me doing that I think um, or the, just like the script in the bottom the description it's pretty straightforward but once you've done that you should be able to call so in your configs so I'll go to shoreline mill and routines so I have a touch inside of the touch plate over there open with the new text editor Kate there we go cool okay so inside of your text editor or in your script or your G code script that is I have defined M101 here so, when M101 gets launched, it'll essentially call the Python script and go back. So, go 
here. Open this. And yeah, it's nothing special. I mean, in mine right now, I've basically just duplicated the HAL manual tool change script um, and just updated it to HAL manual probe change because, I don't know, it's a long story. But I don't know if I'm going to leave it like this. But anyway, I think this gets the point across. Um, how to use user defined M codes, hopefully. Uh, not too complicated. Your scripts can be anything, and just remember not to add the extension and then make it executable. So, I guess one other thing I um, just want to say so, the path for your user defined M codes are determined by uh, whatever's in your configuration INI file. So, if we open that up, you can see right here for the program prefix. Whatever your, your path is here, that's where your M codes need to go, I believe. Um, so, that's what's worked for me anyway. So, good luck. So, it looks like uh, I'm not going to be working in the garage for a little while. I'm going to ride over to Loyal Legion and meet Kate for lunch and check you later. I think we're going to play some Quirkle too, which I'll show you in a bit. Instead of doing this for the internet, you make lines of tiles, mm -hmm. all of one color or one shape, or one shape. You see the example here. The tiles in a line. For example, a line of squares can only have one blue square. A line can never be longer than six. As the game progresses, spaces will be created where no tile. Like this. Kate now has four points because she added another diamond to my line. So I added two greens to the top green diamond. So that gives me three more points. Now I'm going to draw two from the quirkle bag just to get my hand back up to six. So one more. So, so I have a yellow square diamond here. I can't put my yellow diamond there because there's already a diamond on the board. So you technically have to use a turn to discard certain pieces. Um, but now I added added two more yellows. So I think that's the majority of the rules. All right, so I completed this diamond row with the orange one there. And so the first person to get to six, get that six filled up, you get plus six points. So. Now I'm up to 26. So correction, it's every time you get the all six sets, or six colors in a row, you get a plus six points. Or six shapes in a row. Or six shapes in a row. You know that you get lots to give, baby. Lots to give. Yeah. Stop by a train on Water Avenue. So many tra this train comes like the most. I used to have a music studio down here on uh, like Southeast Waterfront, Water Avenue. Uh, this train would come every time we would try to record. 